Dinesh Shatta Ramdin. Dinesh Ramdin. The greatest gloves man in the Caribbean. Or the best gloves man in the Caribbean. Since Jeffrey Dujan has called time on his international career. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. Ramdin has called time on his international career. And, you know, it's a sad day. Because it simply means we might not get a chance to see the man back in the West Indies colors. Alright, so we're going to talk a little bit about um, the Mr. Ramdin. So I am on the Crick Nation website here and they are the one that, you know, they are actually reporting the story. So I'm just going to be sharing it with you guys. So they say former West Indies wicketkeeper batsman Dinesh Ramdin has announced his retirement from international cricket. Yeah, man. He hasn't played for West Indies in quite some time or in a while, my viewers and subscribers. But he wasn't retired or anything like that. You know, so he's officially announcing his retirement. So they say the 37-year-old Trinidadian who last played test cricket for West Indies against Australia in January 2016 made his debut against Sri Lanka all the way back in July 2005, right? In 74 test matches, he would have scored 2,898 runs and, you know, that included four centuries and 15 half centuries at an average of 25.87. Now, he took 205 catches and 12 stumpings, uh, 12 stumpings in his test career. So, that is how his test career went, my viewers and subscribers. And for those that, you know, for the person supporting this platform that know me personally, right, outside of YouTube, you will know that Dinesh Ramdin is actually... It might sound weird <laughs> because you know it's not like he's one of the greatest to have played for West Indies. But you guys will know that you know Dinesh Ramdin is actually um one of my favorite players. And once again, for those outside of YouTube that actually know me, will know exactly what my friends call me. <laughs> Alright, so we're going, we're gonna continue. So they say he made his decision known on his Instagram on Friday which would have been a couple of days ago, right? So Ramdin is quoted as saying, it's with great pleasure that I announce my retirement from international cricket, right? End quote. Went to, um, the, the, the article went on to say, Ramdin, who last donned the West Indies colors in a T20 match against India in December 2019, you know, was very elated, but it was a bittersweet moment. In quotation, they say, uh, Ramdin said, well, in quotation, this is what he had to say, the past 14 years have been a dream come, come true. I fulfilled my childhood dreams of playing cricket for Trinidad and Tobago and the West Indies. He went on to say, my career afforded me opportunity to see the world, make friends from different uh, cultures and still be able to appreciate where I come from, end quote. Right? Now, the, the, the article went on, went on and it says, Notwithstanding his retirement from international cricket, Ramdin said he will still be playing franchise cricket. Um, I'm not too sure if he's going to be participating in the CPL this year. I'm not too sure why. I'm trying to remember if he, if he, if he, if he actually um. I'm going to have to double check. Not too sure if he's going to be playing in the CPL, right? Um, he went on to say, Ramdin played 139 ODIs for West Indies, scoring 2,200 runs with two centuries and eight half centuries at an average of 25. He also had completed 181 uh, catches and seven stompings. Now, he has, where T20 international games are concerned, he has also played 71 T20 international games, which, you know, he scored 636 runs. In those, he took 43 uh, catches and pulled off 20 stompings. Big up to Dinesh Shatter Ramdin. You understand? We're definitely going to be looking forward to seeing him on the franchise circuit, just to see him going, traveling around and playing some T20 cricket. But, um... Where, where, where international cricket is concerned, he has called time on his career. And based on the, uh, the, the amount of young wicket keepers we have coming up, 
it's probably safe to say we are not going to see him back in the West Indies colors. And funny enough, when he just um when he actually just left out of the West Indies team, you know, he started performing um relatively well in CPL cricket, you know. Was doing some work for, for, for Trinidad and Tobago and I think St. Kitts, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, it's it's really it's really a sad day, but you know, we, we have to we have to big him up on his career that he 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 you know he he, he would have had. Um probably at the beginning when I said that the, the best gloves man since Jeffrey Dujan, a lot of persons are probably going to debate and some persons are going to say that um you know I am dreaming. But well, usually usually I, I, I try to be very, you know, try to leave emotions out of my reasoning and things like that. But um, in all honesty though, my viewers and subscribers, Dennis Ramdin is probably uh I mean River Jacobs was good. I bear in mind I didn't really see Jeffrey Dujan. I saw clips and things like that. But the, the other wicked keepers keepers I would have seen a little bit of them. I think I I would have seen um Williams, I think his name is. I would have seen River Jacobs. Jacobs was good um, behind the stumps. He was good with the bat also. Plus, you know, we had a couple of other wicket keepers coming through. But Ramdan is probably the best gloves man I, I would have seen. Um, one could say that he, he didn't really fulfill his potential with the bat, right? With the bat in hand. But remember, he, you know, he's a specialist wicket keeper. A wicket keeper, batsman. That's what it's called. Not a batsman, wicket keeper. A wicket keeper, batsman. And if we're going to look at it, look at his gloves work, in my opinion, Ramdin at one point time, at one point in time, was probably one of the best in the world. You understand? When he was operating, we still had people like A.B. De Villiers, Kumar, Sangakara, and all of those guys doing their thing. So, you know, he was never really the out and out best keeper in the world, based on my opinion, because. Sangakara was there doing his thing and quite a few other guys but yeah he's probably one of the best gloves man that I would have seen in the region you understand and uh, we definitely appreciate him and shout him out we are looking forward to seeing him playing some franchise cricket now apart from we also had another guy calling time on his career yesterday uh, the Bangladesh uh, player Tommy Iqbal yeah man after the west after after whipping west indies yesterday in the in the final odi game he actually went ahead and posted that you know um he's retiring from international t20 cricket so um yeah he, he we, we we probably probably we are not going to be seeing him back out there so based on what i'm seeing here on espn quick info he says tammy iqbal announced his t20 international um retirement right um this is what he said in, in and i quote considered me consider me retired from t20 international as of today thanks everyone so short and spicy nothing too long you know so after dealing with west indies in the odi the man just went on and said all right consider me retired from t20 international games as of today thanks everyone so we have a couple of guys um you know that, that that were involved in the game for for quite some time retiring well tammy iqbal only announced retirement from uh, t20 international but ramdin has walked away from the game international and the international scene in general right so you only will be seeing the shutter in franchise cricket so uh shout out to the man as i said in ramdin definitely one of my favorite um cricketers it might sound weird because I watch so so much cricket, my viewers and subscribers, and there are so many guys out there with high numbers and high high numbers with the bat, high numbers with the ball, you know. But um, from day one, from day one, my viewers and subscribers, Ramdin, you know, I've always been a fan of him. The way in which he, he he kept wicket, and you know, he was always talented with the bat, just didn't really go on to to to, to score a whole lot of runs like the other wicked keepers like Sangakar and, and, and those guys but you know, definitely my guy as I said outside of YouTube if you want to know how much I respect Dinesh Ramdin and I you know how much of fun you know I am of the man just check in with a couple of my friends outside of YouTube and they will definitely let you know what I am called what they call me alright my peeps big up on yourself long live Mr. Dinesh Ramdin I'm out